All right, welcome back to the Sports Bash here on 97.3 ESPN on a hump day Wednesday. Josh Hennig hanging out with you and back at the Ocean Resort in Atlantic City. Tomorrow night is PFL MMA, the Professional Fighters League. Their season finale, the winners on Thursday night make it to the postseason. It's win and you're in for many of these guys. And joining us now on the Border Wakanda Hotline is Carlos Silva, president of PFL MMA. Carlos, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Josh. How's everything? I'm doing well. So, you know, we, we talked a couple weeks ago about how unique this setup is. And to me, this, you know, in sports, no matter if it's a scene sport or individual sport, if it's win and you're in, this, this is do or die. This is, you know, one game playoff. So for a lot of these guys on Thursday night, you know, this is, you know, this is your one shot. This is your one opportunity to make or break your shot in the playoffs. No, absolutely. I mean, you look at the you look at PFL seven, which is the last fight of the regular season, and uh, you know it's really a set of fights where every single fight the winners can get in and become that seventh or eighth seed, depending on who's on the bubble, really with the top eight. Because as as we talked about a couple of weeks ago, you know we've had this regular season, and the top eight in every weight class make it to the to a straight bracketed March Madness style playoffs in October. And tomorrow night here at Ocean's Resort, uh, you know, so many of these fights, you know, uh, we've got Rama against Abdallah. We've got, you know, Dolph against Bezerra. Paul Bradley's coming back and tried to get all these guys have zero points. And they need a win. They need three points, four points, five points so that they can make it into that top eight and make the playoffs. Give the audience an opportunity to understand how your point system is set up. You know, is it because I understand it's more than just the win. It's also how you finish the fight. No, that's right, Josh. So during the regular season in each of the weight class, every fighter gets an opportunity to fight twice during the regular season. Uh, when they fight, they get points. You get three points for a win, but then you get bonus points if you get an early finish. So if you and I were fighting each other and you happen to knock me out in the first round, you'd get three points for the win, but then you'd get three points for your first round finish. So you'd finish your that fight with six points. Once everybody gets their second fight, two fights during the regular season, we add up those points and we take the top eight by points and we put them into a straight bracket, just like March Madness, a quarterfinal bracket where it's number the number one seed, versus the number eight seed, the number two seed, versus the seven, et cetera. And they fight in those playoffs, quarterfinals and semifinals in the same night in October, which is going to be the most exciting night uh, in MMA, I think. And then the two finalists that emerge out of that playoff night will then go on to the championship on December 31st. There's $10 million up for grabs. The winners in each of the weight classes win a million dollars. So it's uh, – it's uh, really, it's been exciting so far. It's going to be exciting tomorrow night at, uh, at Ocean Resort here, uh, here at PFL 7. You know, when you guys first came up with this regular season and playoff format and seeing how it's played out this year, has this met your expectations or has it exceeded your expectations? Uh, you know, it's a great question. I'd say it's really exceeded our expectations. I think, uh, the MMA world, the fans, the fighters, and, and really everyone here at PFL, I think we did a lot of hard work to put this together. But, you know, going back to June 7th when we started the regular season at Madison Square Garden, uh, you just don't know how everything is going to work out. I think the fighters have really shown that they understand the format. 70% uh, of our fights have ended in a finish. That means they understand bonus points. They want to get bonus points, and they want to be in the top eight to make the playoffs because you, know, you don't make the playoffs, you don't get a chance to win the million dollar uh, championship prize. And so I think it's exceeded our expectations. The fighters are uh, really loving the format. I think they love that they know when they're going to fight also. And they understand that sort of training for an entire season is a little bit different than just getting a call and saying, you've got to fight in six weeks. And so uh, it's really gone well. Um, we're excited about it. Carlos Silva, president of PFL MMA, joining us on the Boro Wakanda Hotline, Professional Fighters League's seventh and final regular season event, bringing MMA action to Ocean Resort and Casino one more time in Atlantic City on Thursday night. Some very interesting matchups you got here, some recognizable names. You mentioned Paul Bradley earlier, also Mike Kyle, 
Jason High, what are some of the matchups that you're really looking at and saying, you know, this could be really explosive considering these guys one win and they're in. So who are some of the guys that you're looking at and say, let me tell you something, when these guys go in there, it could be explosive. Well, you know, look, I, you mentioned Jason High, he's fight, fighting Johnny Case. Um, and I think it's going to be a, you know, really exciting fight. They both have zero points. The winner is going to get in. Great example. Paul Bradley, uh, you know, is coming off of a loss. Uh, back in Washington, D.C. at PFL 3. Uh, he's been around uh, MMA. Has really, uh, you, know, uh, you know, really been a, had a great career, but he needs to make the playoffs. You know, Paul Bradley against Anderson Ferreira. Uh, winner's going to make it into the playoffs. Uh, you know, Sean O'Connell is fighting, uh, you know, Bozigit Atiev. Uh, the thing that's interesting about Sean is Sean is also one of our announcers. He'll be announcing on the Facebook card, and then he'll be fighting later on that night. He's done this a couple of times. I think it's uh, an amazing story that the guy can relax and have a set of headphones on and talk like you and I are and, and do part of the show and then you know, go uh, you know, strap his gloves on and get in the cage and, and try and get a win so that he can uh, you know, continue to advance and into the playoffs. And the last fight of the night, I think, is uh, – is going to be, you know, it's a, a couple of big guys that, you know, sort of throw some heavy, heavy, uh, heavy punches around. Smiliano Rama against uh, Jamie Abdallah from Australia. And I think uh, it's going to cap the night off with some fireworks. It's going to be great. You mentioned O'Connell versus Atiev. You know, is that one of those, it's a very interesting thing to me because Atiev basically went years without even fighting. He had this huge gap in his fighting record. You know, talk talk about how strange it is to see a guy. You know, usually in mixed martial arts, you see guys they stay active for the most part, at least once or twice a year. You got a guy in Atiev. He went basically eleven years in between MMA fights. Yeah, you know, there's been a couple of guys. I mean, it, you know, not just uh, not just Bo's again. I mean, even you know, Sean took a little time off. You know, Rick Story, who fought for us the other night, took a little time off. Uh, you know, look, it's a tough it's a tough sport. I think uh, I think certainly the the hope and uh, the excitement of the Professional Fighters League and this opportunity to, to you know, get life-changing money for these guys, you know, brought some guys that were, you know, sort of thinking about where their career went next uh, and brought them, you know, brought them back to, you know, MMA that they love and, you know, and to the PFL. Um, you know, you also mentioned, you know, a couple of the other guys, the first fight on the card on the NBC, you know, Kyle Allen Carr against Mike Kyle. Um, those are two big guys. If you don't know, you know, uh, Kyle Allen Carr, he's a big, tall guy. I think he stands at like 6'6". Six, six. Uh, and Mike Kyle is also a very good athlete, uh, you know, played college football, uh, also has some heavy hands. I think that's going to start off the, the NBC uh, card uh, here at Ocean Resort, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a great night. Carlos Silva joining us on the Port Wakanda Hotline, the president of Professional Fighters League Mixed Martial Arts here on 97.3 ESPN. Carlos, before I let you go and appreciate your time here on a Wednesday, you know, looking ahead to tomorrow night in the playoffs, you know, the way things are laying out, this seems like it has been a very successful year for you guys. So kind of what is your plans beyond 2018? Like, how do you see the future of this evolving through 2019 and 2020? Well, look, I think... Uh... You know, the 2018 season was all about this new regular season playoffs and championship format. Uh, as you mentioned, Josh, I think it's really held up well. It's been exciting for the fans, lots of finishes. That's obviously going to continue. Uh, I think the season uh, is probably going to start a little bit earlier next year. We're looking uh, possibly at a May start instead of a June start. And, uh, and then we're also, you know, if you haven't seen uh, Kayla Harrison – uh, she's fought a couple of fights to get um, some MMA fights under her belt. She's now 2-0. and uh, And I think as we look to 2019 and 2020, uh, adding a female division uh, is a big part of what we want to do here, too, at uh, the Professional Fighters League. So I think, uh, I think you're going to see more of it. I think you're going to see more great finishes. And I think you're going to see uh, fighters start to think about fighting uh, in a sport format with a regular season, a playoffs, and a championship. BFL 7 is Thursday night at Ocean Resort and Casino. It is the final regular season set of fights. It is win and you're in the PFL postseason. And our guest on the Port Wakanda Hotline has been the president of PFL MMA, Carlos Silva. Carlos, appreciate the time, and we expect an explosive night tomorrow night.
Thanks so much, Josh. Look forward to seeing you at the fight tomorrow night at Ocean Resort.